Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here with Jarno with a Pantera, and this is a Sandvik machine that's a drill rig that has the power of Caterpillar engines that we see right behind us. Tell us a little bit about the machine and your, your relationship with Caterpillar and how the team have helped you to create this new machine. Thank you, there are many questions. I would start, <laughs> to, <laughs> would start to tell myself a little bit. So I'm working as a product manager here in surface drilling. I have a history uh, for working with drills more than 20 years now already. And uh, of course, the Caterpillar engine has been uh, part of our drills uh, over the years. I would say more than 30, 40 years we have used the Caterpillar engine. Uh, they are well known, their uh, reliability and their good service network over the uh, all over the way uh, places around the world so that is the reason why we have relied on caterpillar engines and our drills so this particular unit is the latest one so what are the specifications of the engine that you've got inside here and the power that is needed yeah i th i would say that uh, this uh, as mentioned this pantera dbi it's a year model updated version we call it pantera 15 10i this machine is well known over the uh, globe, so we have delivered over the years more than 2,500 units already. Uh, why we have uh, upgraded the unit uh, from C11 to C9.3 engine is, of course, uh, we are targeting to get lower fuel burn, so the energy efficiency has been the one of the main reasons we wanted to uh, upgrade our unit. And so what's interesting about that is obviously there's still the power in that smaller engine, but also because it's a smaller engine, you're able to reconfigure the inside of the machine as well, aren't you? So you're able to change that configuration to, to work better for you. Of course. So we are seeing this engine to be very good, uh, like a footprint of the engine. So the size is compact. So uh, as you see, the, the department doesn't have... Uh, too much space in it, so we need to fit a lot of power in the small department of uh, machine to be able to keep the machine compact to fit to the customer uh, sites, different uh, applications. So let's have a look at this side end of this machine to see how much is now packed in. And with the smaller cat engine that is packed in there, but you can see that there's actually quite a lot of space uh, available for you. So yeah. when you talk about a drill, what kind of power do you need and what kind of things yeah. are we talking about the, the engine doing for you? Yeah, so basically if you think about the power itself, so in the drill we need to have a high compressed air power, so we need to fit the compressor in this department. But same time when we are talking about the hydraulic driven top hammer drill, we need to have a lot of hydraulic power also for the drill, to running the drill and the hammer. So basically we have packed in the same uh, department the hydraulic and the compressed air power to bring the drilling performance. So, and at the same time, it's not only the packing the power in this department, but also we need to remain and keep up the serviceability of the yeah, drill. Absolutely. So basically, you need to have a good access, uh, all, all service point, uh, both in hydraulic uh, uh, air and, and also the engine uh, service. And so the thing about, you know, keeping a unit like this uh, operational is you, you've also got your own connectivity into the yes. machine yeah. uh, over, the, over the air as such as well. And, and some information can come from the engine at the moment. Yeah, so basically we are, uh, of course, MySanvik uh, is, is a product called MySanvik, which provides these uh, services. So we are sharing through the cloud services our, uh, from the equipment all the service data. Uh, we call it uh, service light indicator. So basically this rig is providing the service information, whether the service has done or whether this is bending. All the data of like um, error messages, codes is shared through the cloud. So we, we want and we will uh, do the service of the drills easier and uh, also the troubleshooting easier and, and uh, keeping the uptime high level with these kind of uh, digital features. So also, you mentioned about savings in fuel. What are the sort of savings that customers can uh, appreciate now? Uh, we believe we are calculating uh, at the moment that we're seeing roughly five to six hour, uh, liters per hour saving in, in the fuel with this new model compared to the other, other models in the market. Wow, fantastic. That's a lot of, of yeah, saving, isn't it? It means uh, longer term over the years, it's making a lot of uh, money, but same time seeing the uh, we are seeing the importance of the, the reducing the CO2 emissions. Absolutely. So come on, let's see yeah. the end of the drill, which has got the business end, as yes, I call it. Exactly.
So here we are at the business end of the drill and you, you can see how huge this is for a small rig to carry all of this and power this. Yeah. It's really yeah. impressive, it's like a, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, everything happens for the customer. What they are seeing and drawing, uh, it doing is this, they are drilling the hole in the ground. So everything which is making crucial for the customer is happening from here. So extremely high power drifter, uh, Rock Tools is creating the holes in the ground, which is making the money for our customer in the end. Absolutely. And now that is done with less fuel. So let's go and have a look actually at the cab because this is really impressive. So we come into the operator station. There was a big surprise for me here because we've got the virtual reality headset, which literally I have just drilled a hole with. This is absolutely fantastic. But this is where the operator sits. And it, there's a lot of space here, isn't it? Yes, so we are seeing extremely, in, to be productive, the operator need to have an extremely good environment to operate from. So we have updated this Panther DPI cabin with their ticker classes, with the uh, higher level of dampening of the cabin to lower down the nose and keeping the operator environment even better than it has been before. So it is really a nice uh, place for to be and do the drilling from. And so what we've got here, obviously all the protection that somebody needs, the really ergonomic, the, the control systems here as well, aren't they? Makes you feel really comfortable. And that visibility with the tablet and all the information you need. Exactly, so it is the something number one priority for us to, to be productive and safe operation. The operator need to be relaxed, uh, to keep to focus uh, to the long shift hours. So he needs to, he or she needs to be extremely reliable uh, and comfortable for the drill. And this uh, user interface is designed for that. So here we got a brand new top of the range drill rig here from Sandvik. Virtually amazing drilling, but also obviously now far more efficient with the Caterpillar engine, saving all of that fuel. And wow, this has been really cool, especially the virtual experience. Brilliant to see you at Bauma. Thank you.